Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another chapter of our enchanting tale set in the mystical village of Salzburg. As the winter solstice approaches, the air is thick with anticipation and the scent of impending snow. Our story unfolds at the edge of a frozen river, where an ice sculpture stands as a crystalline sentinel under the pale light of the waning moon. Flickering lanterns line the cobblestone streets, casting a haunting beauty over the scene. It's a moment frozen in time, waiting for the warmth of understanding to set it free. So, buckle up as we dive into this chapter filled with emotions, revelations, and the promise of healing. Lena Mahler stood at the edge of the frozen river, her heart a cacophony of emotions, each beat echoing the weight of her family's past. The ice sculpture loomed before her, a crystalline sentinel shimmering under the pale light of the waning moon. Jonas Fisher, with his dark hair tousled by the biting wind, paced beside Lena. His skepticism was now tempered by a newfound resolve. We have to face it, Lena. The spirit won't just reveal itself because we want it to. We need to confront our fears, our pasts. Greta Weiss, the village's living archive, stood a few paces behind them. Her silver hair glinted like the stars above as she clutched her colorful shawl tightly around her frail shoulders. Her deep-set eyes glistened with a mix of wisdom and worry. The sculpture is a mirror, dear ones. It reflects not just the past, but the emotions that bind you to it. If you wish to see the truth, you must first embrace your own feelings. The townsfolk, a mix of elderly villagers with weathered faces and younger residents clad in modern attire, gathered at a distance. Their whispers rose like smoke in the cold air, fear rippling through the crowd. They had come to witness the unveiling of the sculpture, but their hearts were heavy with dread, fearing the awakening of dark spirits that might disrupt their traditions. As Lena stepped closer to the sculpture, she felt a warmth radiating from within, a pulse that resonated with her own heartbeat. Memories flooded her mind, her siblings' laughter, the warmth of family gatherings, the shadows of loss that had haunted her since childhood. Each recollection was a thread, weaving her past into the present, urging her to confront the pain she had long buried. I'm ready, Lena whispered, her voice barely audible over the murmurs of the crowd. She turned to Jonas, who nodded, his blue eyes reflecting a mixture of fear and determination. Together, they stepped forward, hand in hand, ready to face the spirit that awaited them. As Lena and Jonas approached the sculpture, the air crackled with energy, the ice shimmering as if alive. Greta raised her hands, her voice steady and clear. We seek understanding, we seek closure. We honor the past, and we ask for forgiveness. The townsfolk gasped, their skepticism wavering as they witnessed the transformation of the sculpture. It began to melt, the ice dripping like tears onto the frozen ground, each drop a release of the burdens that had long been held captive. The atmosphere shifted, charged with emotion, as Lena and Jonas stood resolute, ready to embrace the truth that lay within the heart of the ice. In that moment, the spirit of Lena's ancestor emerged, a figure cloaked in ethereal light, eyes filled with sorrow and wisdom. The confrontation was not one of anger, but of understanding as the past and present intertwined, revealing the path to healing. The ice sculpture, once a symbol of frozen regrets, began to dissolve, a testament to the power of forgiveness and the potential for rebirth. As the last remnants of ice melted away, Lena felt a weight lift from her shoulders, a sense of peace washing over her, as the village of Salzburg stood witness to the restoration of harmony.